Now let's see how we can read the diagnostic data using the ADRCI utility. So let's see where we are and then let me go to the ADR base which is U01 app oracle. Okay, we are in the ADR base and these are the various folders. Now let's use the ADRCI utility. So to use that all you have to do is type ADRCI. That's it. It is saying our ADR base is U01 app oracle. If you want to change that you can change it. But since this is our ADR base we are good with it. To find out the various commands in this utility you can type help. And you see these are the various commands available within the ADRCI utility. Okay. So now let's go through some of these commands. Let's see the alert file. All you have to do is show alert. So it's saying I have several alert files. Which one do you want me to show? We know it is from DIAG, RDBMS, Prod1, Prod1. Right. So let's type 3. And it is showing us the file from the beginning. We can navigate down with the cursor and we can move all the way down. You see the alert log file has various information. It has written various initialization parameters. You see number of processors, memory target, control files, block size. You see all these are initialization parameters used by the database. Okay. And now if you come down you see it says various processes have started and now if you come down you see some of the users performed a restore and it said full restore complete of data file 4 to data file copy disk 2 prod 1 data user 01.dbf. You see even the backup and restore related information is stored in the alert file. Okay, like this if you look at the alert file you will find all kind of information. Okay, so if you want to quit from this alert file colon in small letters quit. Okay, now it came back to the main menu. Here we will type capital Q and we are out of show alert. Okay, previously we saw the entire alert file. Right. Why don't we see only the bottom 20 lines? You can do that. Show alert hyphen tail 20. Okay. It's saying tail alert can only apply to single ADR home. If you look above, we have multiple ADR homes. Right. So let's set the home. How do we set it? If you look here, there is a command set homes or you can use home. So let's do that. Set home DAAG RDBMS prod1 slash prod1. The home is set. Now let's see only the bottom 20 lines. Show alert hyphen tail 20. And you see, these are the bottom 20 lines from the alert file. Cool, right? Now, I don't want to see like this. I want to see only the errors. We know the errors start with ORA dash, right? So I will search for the errors. Show alert iPhone P in double quotations message text like single quotations it should be o r a dash any line which has o r a means it is a error so percentage single quotations double quotations and you see these are the various lines which have errors you see o r a 00313 Open failed for members of log group 1 of thread 1. Okay. 
and here it says errors in file this trace file and again here it has open failed for members of log group 2 of thread 1 okay here alter database close normal it's a shutdown related error that is why ORA1109 okay here ORA27037 unable to obtain file status no such file or directory you see it showed us all the errors cool right yes so to quit colon quit we are out of the alert file another facility is if you want to see only the incidents you can check that show alert iPhone P in double quotations message text like single quotations percentage incident in small letters percentage single quotations double quotations you see these are the various incidents occurred in our database okay these errors are related to recovery you see data fail for failed verification check okay that means it was unable to verify this user01.dbf this is a data file related to our users table space and here there is one more critical error data file is from before the last reset logs that means the data file user01.dbf is not the latest data file okay and here also one more time the same error occurred okay like this you can regularly check for the incidents we know incidents are major errors in the database right okay if you want to quit it is colon quit we are out of the alert file okay so far we have seen alert file why don't we see the trace file how do we see a trace file it is show trace file so let's use show trace file and these are all the trace files available in our diagnostic repository now if I want to see any particular trace file it is show trace and you have to give the full path u01 slash app slash oracle slash and let me copy this copy paste and you see we can see the trace file good now to quit colon quit like this uh, you can search your trace file and alert files for the required information okay